What's going on YouTube? It's Drew Lefty into V10 uh, back with a one card mail day, but it is a big one. Um, super stoked about this card. Uh, probably, I don't know, I don't want to say top 10 tripper cards, but probably a top 10 tripper card in my collection. Um, I think it's one that if your player has a card in the set, you should definitely get, um, which it is a pretty limited set. I believe it's 24 cards. Um, so, story goes, uh, back in 1997, uh, Pinnacle, well, I guess it's Score, yeah, Score, Pinnacle, whatever, had uh, these insert sets called Stand and Deliver. Um, well, it was actually like a redemption program. Gosh, I'm really jumbling this up. Um, anyway, so there were four teams. You had the Braves, the Indians, the Yankees, and... Somebody else, I don't remember. <laughs> um, but the, the deal was you had to, whoever won the World Series, you had to send in uh, the four cards from that team uh, into Pinnacle, and they would mail you a framed version of the set with foiling. Uh, it was like a, like a silver foil lettering. Um, only 275 of those were made. They came in a huge, like I said, huge glass frame. Um, of course, in that year, the Marlins won the World Series, so they had four wild card players that you had to send in. Um, so there were 275 of those sets produced, and there were supposedly 25 uh, sets produced with the red foiling. And I don't know if they were just randomly sent out um, when somebody redeemed something or how they were really distributed, it's kind of unknown. Um, or if there were even 25 cent out there. We, we actually don't know the print run, but it's suspected to be 25. Um, so you had to get these in the frame and then crack them out. So these cards are so susceptible to shipping and surface wear. Um, yeah, just a really, really tough card. Uh, and with them being kind of a mystery as how many are out there and distributed, they just command a huge premium on the market. Um, but without further ado, we've got the red foil stand to deliver. I mean, this card is crazy immaculate for these. I mean, it is sharp. Really nice card. These, they're so susceptible to chipping. I mean, it's clean. I'm probably going to send this to BGS. Like I said, I don't really care about graded cards for Chipper, but without blinding you guys, man, to get that shine, you can't beat these cards. Um, so I bought this from it, what ended up being a 13-year-old kid on eBay. Um, the description, I didn't realize it at the time until somebody posted about it in the inserts group um, that his story said that he was his dad was an ex-Pinnacle executive and that he had these laying around and you know so i don't think this one ever made it into a frame which probably uh, is why it's so clean um compared to a lot of others i've seen listed um so i'm super happy to get this but the kid didn't even put uh tracking on the card um because i asked for an update and he was like oh i mailed it uh with stamps the other day you should have it you know da 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 this day and i'm like oh god uh, a, I thought I had got scammed. <laughs> and then B, my next thought was, yep, that card is definitely arriving in a plain white envelope and it's going to be destroyed. Luckily, it wasn't. Luckily, it's beautiful. Um, but yeah, I, I told him, hey, man, you've got to send tracking. I mean, you're selling thousands of dollars worth of, of these cards. Um, I think he got 800 for the Jeter. So just a friendly reminder. I mean, somebody less honest would have totally scammed him. Said, hey, I never got it. Um, but hey, it made it here in one piece. I'm super happy. And uh, yeah, really big chipper card for me off the list. One I didn't really ever think I'd win or see. Maybe once every two or three years, but uh, I'm glad to have it. That's all I got, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.